Hello everyone, this is our first assignment uh, in HTML. So let's follow the instruction. So here we're looking at uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. Um, the first thing we do is to create a new file. It's going to be a HTML page. Open. And this page will be automatically named as HTML page one HTML, but we want to use a different name. So let's do file, save as, and I also want to put it somewhere I can easily find. So I will put it on my desktop. Uh, create a new folder called Java Gem, and the name of the page will be index. Save. All right. So now we have a page. We first thing we want to do is we want to give it a meaningful title. So the title I would like it to be Java Gem Coffee House Welcome. So the title will be in the head section. And that's the only thing we need in the head section. Now we move on to body section. The first item here is the level one heading. Again, the name of the coffee place. And after that, it's going to be the navigation section. So each one is an anchor element. So the first one will be a link to this page itself. And the text will be home. I want to put a couple of uh, uh, white space behind it. And then we can just copy and paste it for the rest of it. The second one will link to menu HTML, although we don't have it yet, but eventually they will work. The third page will be music. The last page will be contact. And the text will be changed. Music. Uh, contact. Oh, not contact. I think it's. I say it's jobs. of the page will be jobs as well. All right, save. And at this moment, you should be able to view the page in browser. So depending on what your default choice is, for me, it's an internal web browser. So open up a browser window and so these are the links. So the first one should just go back to itself. The second one shouldn't work because we don't have a menu.html yet. Now these should work yet, but they are all hyperlinks that you can click on. And here is the title. Okay, so everything is good so far. So we can keep working on it. So the next section will be an unordered list. Within an ordered list, you need to have a bunch of list items. And each one will have a specific menu item. I'm just copy from the instruction. Right. 
save it and take a look. All right, so it's an unordered list. And let's keep going. Uh, another thing is, uh, it will be con uh, it will be convenient if we have a line number here. So we can bring out a line number, go to Tools, Option, Text Editor, Expand it, All Languages, and uh, Line Number. Alright. So let's keep going. So the next one will be a section for context. So we want to put a paragraph around it. Within the paragraph will be the contact information. And um, if you just put it this way, it's not going to be uh, in separate lines. So we need to put a line break at the end of the, uh, the line here. Line break here, and this should break the line nicely. Yep. And if it kind of a the format is a little bit messy, you can always format so it looks nice again. All right. So after the contact information, it's going to be the footer section, so it's another paragraph, and then uh, will be copyright, and then followed by the uh, special character for copyright, and then 2011, and the line break, and then it's going to be a link, email link. So the link will be to your own email address. So make sure you use your own email address, not mine. And the text will display the email address as well. And we want this whole section to be in smaller text, so we can put a small around it. Make sure they're nested, not crossing each other. We also want to make them italic by using the M for emphasis. So make sure you close the tag that's open the last. So last open first close. Take a look. Alright. So this is pretty much the first page. Uh, I just want to add one more line here. Say this is a class exercise for the SC340 at University of Oregon. So nobody will think this is a real business, it's just a assignment. save this. Uh, another feature that's very useful is a window called error list. So let's bring this up. So it will show a separate pane at the bottom of the window. So if there's anything wrong, so for example if I miss this, uh, it will immediately pop up something here and also you can notice there are some squiggly lines in the code itself and if you hover over it it will 
um, show you what error it is. So here it says very clearly it's missing its closing tag. And that caused this P to be at the wrong spot as well because P cannot be nested within UL. But once we put it back, all these errors will be gone. So you need to keep this error list open and as soon as you see something showing up, you know something is wrong to fix it. So let's just pause here.